Well, good day and welcome on day 16 of our Advent calendar, the best gift ever. And today, the gift that Jesus gives us is the victory. And this is found in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 57. So, let's read. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. There are a number of places in Scripture where it speaks of this victory that we have been given by the Lord. So let's start at 1 John 5, verse 4. The Apostle John says this, For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Notice that again is born of God. This seems to be cropping up a lot when we're talking about the gifts from God. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Now, faith always has an object. It's faith in something. In verse 5, it says, Who is he who overcomes the world? This is the one with faith. But he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. So not only are they born of God, but their faith is in the Lord Jesus. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith in him. And we can see that that victory is ours, whatever the world throws at us. Let's go to Romans 8, verse 35 onwards. It's a victory that no one can take away. It says this, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, For your sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. So the world does everything it can to separate us from the joy and the love that we have in Christ. But verse 37 says, Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors. We have the victory, even through all that tribulation, distress, etc. Through him who loved us. You see, by being in him, we are more than conquerors. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. What an amazing verse that is. But you know, friend, it's not just in this life that we are more than conquerors. Even in death, even when we pass this world. Let's look at 1 Corinthians 15, verse 54 on. So when this corruptible, that's this fleshly body, has put on incorruption, we receive a new body. And this mortal has put on immortality. So that which is passing away puts on eternal life, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. You see, when Jesus died, he paid the death for our sin. And when he rose again, he had victory over death. So truly, death is swallowed up in victory. Death, where is your sting? O Hades, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin. Jesus paid for it. And the strength of sin is the law. The law was fulfilled. And so he rose again with victory over sin and death and hell. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So again we see that that victory is through having faith and trusting in the Lord Jesus. Let's talk. What do you think it means that the victory we have from God overcomes the world? How was that victory gained? Through all our trials and tribulations, what is the constant that remains? And what does that make us? Let's pray and give thanks. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for making us more than conquerors. 
that through each and every trial, as we trust in you, you give us the victory. Please help me in those areas where I really struggle. We pray this now in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Well, thank you for sharing with us today. We hope it's been an encouragement to you and look forward to being with you again tomorrow as we look at the best gifts.